We are approaching the Louisiana border from Mississippi. Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle. And that's Walter. We are here at Luke's Seafood and Steakhouse. It's our first meal here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So hopefully it's good. Okay, these are called hush puppies. Apparently they're deep fried cornbread. And you just put butter on top and then you eat it. And they're delicious. Okay, we're having gumbo, New York steak, rice. Walter has New York with potato <coughs> and salad. Okay, we're just leaving Duke's. The steak was a little bit dry. The gumbo was absolutely delicious. The roux, good. However, it was just a little bit, it's more sodium that my taste buds can handle. So, it was an okay restaurant. The fritters oh, we were, were great. I'm sorry? The fritters were great. The fritters? I don't know what fritters. What are we calling? The hush puppies. Oh, the hush puppies. Oh my God, the hush puppies were delicious. It was also ugly baby day. Ugly uh, baby evening here? Yes. Oh. Uh, oh, ugly babies. Yeah. You want to see a really cute baby? Go to Free and Simple's web, uh, YouTube page. Jim and Chelsea has an adorable little boy. All right, we're having dinner at Umami Japanese Bistro. Hopefully it's good. The deep fried tofu is delicious. So is hot I stickers. Have hot stickers. All right, this is bone marrow, rice, and bread. Bone marrow, delicious. I'm having ramen soup, and Walter is having teriyaki chicken. Everything here has been delicious. We're gonna go over Lake Pontchartrain toll bridge right now. I had to explain to Ariel about the really bad roads in Louisiana that no matter how much they collect in taxes, it's a very corrupt state. I can't remember which politician it was years ago that said the last thing he ever wanted was to be caught in bed with a dead woman or a live boy. We are at the New Orleans Jazz National Historic Park uh, and this park celebrates the origins and evolution of America's most widely recognized indigenous musical art form. The park provides an ideal setting to share the cultural history of the people and places that help shape the development and progression of jazz in New Orleans. And it isn't it nice to actually have jazz music playing in the background? <laughs> right, we're here to get my stamp. And uh, we're parked actually next to the cathedral. So we're, we've been rushing to get here because we've been here, I think we've been to New Orleans four times already. So there's really no point in us just walking around. We're just, we're here to get my stamp and then go. Okay, we're back in the car. We're very disappointing. I did check their website out and it said that they were open and there was a sign on the door that says to check their website for hours that they're open. <laughs> they, they're, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. Yep. Uh, so we're, now we're leaving New Orleans and headed towards Jean Lafayette. I don't know, I'm picturing it. I don't know where we're going. There's another national park within 30, mi 30 minutes from here. And we're, that's where we're off to. I do want to comment how clean New Orleans is right now. It doesn't smell like barf. It doesn't smell like pee. And the streets 
are very clean and it's not crowded. It's wonderful. It's nice to just actually walk around. New Orleans, right? Or the old sector of New Orleans. The quarter. The quarter? The, the French quarter. Right? Yeah, it's the French quarter. It's the French quarter? Okay, the French quarter. We are now at the Jean Lafayette National Historical Park and Preserve. This was established to preserve significant examples of the rich natural and cultural resources of Louisiana's Mississippi Delta region. This park consists of six physically separate sites that illustrate Acadian culture, natural history. A Piv and pivotal events that took place in this diverse region. Okay, hopefully he's got a stamp for us for this park. I don't see any rangers here though. There's a little table. Okay, we'll take a brochure. Maybe go around the park. And... We're getting our cardio in by going down the boardwalk here. And it's actually Swamp it's below us. And it says don't feed the alligators. So hopefully there's no alligators sending themselves on the boardwalk. Or misbehaving children. Right, the difference between a swamp and a bayou is a swamp. Something moving down there. Okay, is a swamp. The water does not flow. It's stagnant, whereas in a bayou, it's actually a river that flows. And right now we're in a swamp. And apparently, people here um, don't like the pejorative term that the swamp has been given. Um, like to clear out the swamp in Washington because swamps are great places in real life, even though they're stagnant and full of decaying rot, which I think is an appropriate term for the swamp in Washington, but they would prefer a different term for the, the swamp in Washington. That was something we were told. It's actually a nice pleasant rock. I completely sprayed this morning with mosquito stuff so I don't get bit. We still have a ways to go in the boardwalk. However, we encountered this, this right off the boardwalk. So we're going back now. <laughs> We've seen these and move and they move really, really fast. <laughs> That's enough wildlife for us. <laughs> we're heading back now. <laughs> My heart racing. I mean, initially I thought it was fake, of course, because you don't expect to see the real thing and then Upon realizing it was real, no, we're going back the other way. No, we're going back now. <laughs> that okay. was enough cardio. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter if we're 25 feet from the end of this walk. You will walk back the entire distance the other direction. Okay. Hi. We saw wildlife. That was enough. <laughs> Glad I took my blood pressure medication this morning. I'm not sure it's helping right now. <laughs> I love the sign. Please afford them the respect they deserve. What sign? There was a sign earlier on. Alligators. Yeah, we saw him. Uh, we, that, that was enough. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually alligators out here. There's no busy misbehaving children to toss to them, so I'll just walk back. Is that seven foot, six foot alligator? 
certainly in the range. I wasn't going to stand around and measure it. It looked like a six, six foot alligator. It looked longer than you. Yes, it was longer than me. <laughs> that was exciting. I got to see a crocodile alligator. alligator. <laughs> that was longer than me. <laughs> yeah. And Walter seems to think I've been trying to kill him since we met. What is your count now? 1,234. Oh. I get two for today. I get two for today. Oh, yeah. I'm all right. This boardwalk is very damp and not leveled at all. I've slipped twice already. Walter's grabbed me, and Walter's already slipped once. Yeah. And it looked like he was going to go in. Plus the alligator. I get two for today. Oh, okay. It's been a fun walk. Okay, this side is actually true. There are alligators along the boardwalk and it is very slippery and I think they need to change the side. You can feed them as long as they're children. Alligators do's and don'ts. Never approach an alligator too closely. They are surprisingly fast and agile in and out of the water. Supervise your children. Do not leave them unattended. And yes, we, we, we saw one. <laughs> Alligators assess their prey by its height. If confronted by an aggressive alligator, stand as tall as possible, even raising your hands above your head to add height. Three piece dark meat chicken. Oh dear Lord, this is... And Walter got chicken. And shrimp. And shrimp. Okay. And we ordered, because of the gentleman over there, we ordered, I ordered two bell peppers to go. Okay, the cook came out in the back and gave us cornbread. I don't know what city we're in. We're outside an hour west of Nolens. We're at Connie's Grill and Catering. This is, we drove. It, this is not a fancy neighborhood. The food, the food. <laughs> Connie's seafood and grill, delicious. Oh, delicious. We're here east west of Lafayette, and the camera's fogging up. Okay, that's how high the humidity is here. We are at Pat's Wharf. No, Pat's. We're at Pat's. Fisherman's Wharf restaurant bar, oyster bar. So we're having lunch. Looking forward to it. Right next to some river. We're having lunch with RJ and Valerie, very good friends of the oh, I almost said their last name. Of Walter's family. He's probably looking, they probably toss things for him to eat. See, that, yeah, that's about six foot. That's the best one to eat right there because the meat's nice and tender. The, the bigger they are, the, the more the, the more fishy in their taste. Oh, when you take those tours on the boat, the alligator oh, yeah. come right up to you. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this is this is Valerie and RJ. RJ is from here. I'm from here. <laughs> That's why he's telling us that that alligator out there tastes good. <laughs> it's delicious. It's, it's, it's delicious. He's gonna throw, oh, here he comes. Look, he's coming. He's oh, God, oh, now look, he's coming. Look, he's, he's coming, coming towards first. us. Oh. Right there. Look, he threw him a piece of bread right there. He's going to come and get it. Okay. okay. Tilapia with melted butter. <laughs> look at that. Melted. Tilapia. Melted butter. That Val is. Valerie's having oh shrimp. Etouffee. Etouffee fried crawfish. Go up. <laughs> what is this? Bread pudding. Bread pudding. <laughs> Bread pudding for dessert. Okay, this is the Baton Rouge KOA. It's really nice because we are off the highway and probably we are maybe 10-15 minutes away from Baton Rouge 
but the restaurant right down the street from here wonderful there's a barbecue rib place that has four and a half stars on Yelp it should have five it was that good we're going back again tonight and I'll show you what we're gonna I'm gonna have the half slab of ribs anyway this Baton Rouge KOA we would definitely stay here again it's a yes oh and the internet speed the internet speed is about a 5G and it's wonderful I uploaded all of the videos that I had pending waiting for a really good connection and we found it 5G network fabulous and it's clean this RV place there is no trash anywhere and really love it so again we would stay here again definite yes this is the setup here at this KOA you got water pressure is good 50 amps cable and they've got like 90 channels and there's still nothing to watch and they actually have two sewer lines one sort of in the middle and they also have one here at the end so if you've got a fifth wheel that has two sewer hoses they've got it in two different locations and the space is very large so you can actually fit more RV in the back and more in the front and they actually have one two three four five five rows of 50 amps here and they are slowly upgrading all of their platforms into brand new concrete spaces you can see here in the end there's a tractor building out another site or changing out the pavement they do have laundry and a pool right over here doing laundry right now the laundry is very clean and when you go to check in they have a mini RV store they have all the minimal stuff dog bones for electrical water filters and anything you might need regarding your sewer it's a nice park all right this wraps up this particular segment and we are on our way to back to Galveston Stella Mar love that RV park also uh, tomorrow and we'll see you there in Galveston I'm still alive. Still alive. It. He's still here. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye. bye.